Hi there, everyone. Have you ever seen the TED Talk by Ernesto Ciroli, uh, Shut Up and Listen? Well, if you haven't, uh, it's about 10 years old, has about 750,000 views. You should actually go and listen to it. Shut Up and Listen means he is explaining his experience as a young development worker from Italy in Zambia, where they were setting up... Um, agricultural uh, sites uh, close to a river and once the tomatoes had gotten really really big all of a sudden all the hippos came and ate it all up so the havoc was great as you can believe and the development workers ran to the people the local people and also hey, listen why didn't you tell us that this is going to happen and they said well why didn't you ask us so as you can believe the laughter is great in the audience and actually it's quite a serious matter even though people were laughing because it uh, it shows a really big problem in development cooperation. So obviously Ernesto explains a whole lot about the cultural setting about international aid, uh, patronizing and so forth and he, he talks about uh, how to change that and how to listen to people and what needs to be done about it. What I'm trying to say here today is to shut up and listen in a different respect. There is a lot of knowledge management going on and there's a lot of effort thrown into trying to capture previously gained experiences from projects in terms of processes, how to do things and make that available for future projects. And that is uh, quite, quite a big an effort and it's usually um, questionable whether you can capture all the necessary parameters of a project to make that success emulable later on. It would be much easier if you would talk to the people that were working on a project. So in my case in development cooperation I experienced that again and again that projects uh, move on setting up uh, writing up terms of references for audio video companies to come in to set up a new website to restructure the website because someone said we don't like that uh, the way it's done before we need this and that on the website so we need a new consultant so they basically have the good reason to say, well, new rooms uh, sweep better and so forth. But there is a, a similar ignorance in the process compared to those development workers in the case of Ernesto Ciroli in Zambia many years ago. And it, the question they never ask is the communications person in that case or the project in a person in another case why have you not done this and that before why have you not installed this and that on the website why would it be a good idea to capture the information in this way how about communicating this and that how about um, a local audio video company what is the, uh, the why haven't you done it that this and that way you know, listen, we don't like it that way, but what is, could there be any reason? And the likelihood for you getting something useful of an answer from that person is actually very high because many times in my experience, there's good reasons for projects, advisors, communicators to take certain approaches. And there's obviously good reasons for others who want the, the new job to advise against all that and not to talk to that person. But you, as the person being in charge, you should take in all the information that you can get and not going only with the new company. So what Ernesto Siroy said about uh, projects moving into Africa many years ago is something that you should actually consider for your internal uh, processes and how you do it yourself. Listen to the people that have been doing this before. Call them up. 
You know, in my case, the communications, call them up, ask them, why haven't you done it this and that way?